All right, so the Warriors, they win. Yes, they did win. Uh, and it wasn't just a win. It was an obliteration. That was, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, it was just a battle of two teams in two different spots in their, what's it called, in their uh, rosters. Like, the Warriors, the championship team, the Lakers, I don't know what the heck they're going to be. They, they look horrible. I'm not even going to lie. They look like <laughs> They got their but whoop tonight by the Warriors. And the, you think 123 to 109, oh, the game, it was a 14 point game. No, it was really, it was really just out of reach the whole game. The Lakers, they tried to make a fake comeback multiple times. I don't even think they got it under single digits at any point past the second half. Or like after like the third, they went on the third quarter run. Like, let me see. I have no, like, it was just, I, obviously, I got notes. I do notes now. And. Yeah, this game, it wasn't close at all. It didn't feel like these teams were just in the same genre at all. Like, obviously, one team's a championship team, and another team's, they don't know what to, they don't know what they are yet. And I said the Lakers are going to win 50 games. I don't know if they're going to do that. They're, they just, I, I don't know. I, I just got, I got to see more out of them. Because, hey, Ron and AD, they did their thing. AD, obviously, he, he, I don't even know. He just disappeared for a while and he came back. But yeah, I don't. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about the Lakers. They look. They just got obliterated tonight. But um, started off slow. Well, actually, before the game, I do want to say Dre uh, came out with a documentary. That was stupid. I was like, <laughs> it's so stupid talking about him punching Jordan Poole. It was about the whole off season, his old training camp, and um the preseason and stuff talking about that and the punch it, it was it was so unnecessary and so stupid in my opinion he is so lucky he's that he's good he's a big key to the team or he'd be traded because that that was so stupid i didn't like that also i do want to mention this is Dr this is james wiseman's first game first regular season game in front of a home crowd like this is his first game and that was when i uh seen that that was insane i love that and this game, it started out with bricks, a lot of bricks, and yeah, it was it was a really slow game. Lakers, like, I thought they were going to start making shots, but they didn't. They didn't start making shots. They're just boo-boo. This is the first time we actually saw the regular season. We saw uh, Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond, and Looney in a regular season lineup. And how many, like, since we haven't seen this lineup at all in the regular season, that was great. Um, Steph Curry, obviously uh, an amazing night tonight, 33 points, six rebounds, seven assists. He's already on his MVP campaign tonight. He also had four steals and a block, like getting that, getting those DPOY numbers too. Man, that MVP candidacy, bro, it's going to be crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't know if he'll keep scoring 33 because I know the whole team's going to, uh, come together at one point because I don't think the team played as well tonight he had a nice post fade he cooked anthony davis on a play and yeah he he started off cold he did he started off really cold especially yeah throughout three quarters it felt like he was cold and he still had 16 in the first half which is insane but he was missing a lot of threes but he still somehow ended up with 33 six and seven like that's how insane of a basketball player steph curry is you think he's having an off night then he ends up with the most points on the court, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he usually end up he ended up with the most points on out of any player. And was a plus twenty. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. Can, can Steph Curry like <laughs> he's gonna win the MVP. I believe I actually believe it this year. No, no fake um no fake what's it called this year. No slump is what I should think. No slump this year. Oof. Uh, I I um uh, Clay, he played well this game. He uh, in in his light minutes too. Like he didn't get a lot of minutes. They say he was gonna play sixteen to eighteen minutes a night. They said outside of uh, the starters, Steph, Andrew Wiggins, and Kevon Looney, they said Dre and Clay were gonna be on a minutes restriction tonight, and they were twenty four minutes for Draymond and Clay had played nineteen minutes. But Clay, he had a nice third quarter, nine points in that quarter, and he had eighteen points on six of thirteen shooting, two of six from three. Oh, man. It was just, this was a nice game. 
it would know it wasn't a nice game. It was actually a the, the Warriors sleepwalk to this win pretty much. They sleepwalk to this red win. Draymond missed about three layups this game. NBA season's back. Passed up a lay had passed up a layup too. But he had himself four, five, and five. Well, he runs the offense, controls the defense. That's the typical Draymond stat line. Especially in the season, he was a plus twelve. Wiggins Wiggins looked sweet tonight. I'm not gonna lie. He had a lot of pull up jumpers. He had two nice step back threes. I'm not gonna lie. He especially on LeBron in the fourth when the game was kind of getting close. He had a sweet step back three. I was like, he is like, it was LeBron, it was on LeBron. He took a big step back and it was like, I was like, oh the what is that's Wiggins. I was like, he did that? It was like he had 20 tonight. He had about two big threes in the fourth that really put the game out of reach and didn't give a Laker, the Lakers a chance at all. He had 20. A, amazing defense. A lot of deflections tonight from Wiggs. And 4 of 7 from 3. 8 of 14 from the field. He, yeah, just an incredible basketball player. Not much more you can ask from him. Well, you can ask more from him, but we don't need that much more from him when Steph's giving him 33. Giving the Warriors 33. Obviously, pulls the first player off the bench. Didn't have a great night. 4 for 15. 2 for 9 from 3. He did not have a great night. But he had a great first quarter, though. I will say that. He had 8 in that first quarter, but ended with 12 points. Yeah, it was just really... I think, yeah, they just really coasted to this win. He had 12 and 7 assists, though, off the bench. Obviously, we need more than that, though, could from last season. But, hey, what are you going to do about it? It's only opening night. Everybody's got to get their rhythm. It typically... typically it typically takes around 10 to 15 games to get your rhythm back in the NBA. That's what they say. That's what they say. Jermichael Green was the first player off the bench after JP. And he came in. He gave a, he gave the Warriors some nice minutes. He had about, I think he had two threes. Yeah. And he had um, a nice play in the fourth quarter where he got like two offensive rebounds and put it back. He, like, he just gives nice energy. He had himself eight points and seven rebounds off the bench. Eight and seven off the bench, man. He is going to be a nice player. He had five offensive rebounds. I thought he had, wow, five offensive rebounds, man. That is going to be great for the Warriors if he can do that. I don't know every night, but if he can give them at least, well, this this looked pretty easy. He was just getting open threes and hitting them and rebounding. So if he can do that every night, man, this team is going to be in great shape, like for real, for real. Uh, Wiseman. Like I said, this is his first game in front of the home crowd. And he show, he did his thing off the bench. 16 minutes, 8 points, 7 rebounds as well. He he like He's just such a great pick and roll presence. That's something the Warriors really didn't have with Looney. And he came in and he just he just played his game. And you just got to love it. And he is just an incredible paint presence on the defensive end. He had a, he, he, he got a block on LeBron. And that was that's something, man. Getting a bl blocking LeBron in the paint is something that's hard to do. He, like that's not really easy to do, and he did that. And yeah, Wiseman, he's gonna be so great. Obviously, 0 for 4 from the free throw line, not great. You don't love that. Need him to work on his free throws again. Oh, Steph was nine and nine from the free throw line. He had nine free throws tonight. Ooh, this might it really might be MVP season. Refs might be on his side after that Finals MVP. Refs might be helping him this year, hopefully. Uh, JK came in. Oof, he, well, I didn't even know. He was really a non-factor. Obviously, on the defensive end, he was great. But 0 for 3, 0 for 2 from 3, 0 for 3 from the field, 0 for 2 from 3. 3 is set, 3 rebounds. It's opening night. We're, we're not, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do anything. Moses Mooney only plays 7 minutes. We'll probably get something else on that later. I know he had that calf injury, but... He got five points in seven minutes. And a rebound. Like, I don't understand why he got such less minutes tonight. Yeah, we're going to have to get an update on that. Because that's my guy and we need to play him more. Because he's definitely ready. He definitely could have got more minutes than Kuminga. They, it looks like, actually, they played Dante DiVincenzo over Johnny Kuminga and Moses. Obviously, okay, actually, obviously, that's actually because those two guys are the uh actual acquisitions they got in the offseason so that makes sense that they um play Dante and J Jamaica Green over JK and Moody.
but I believe they need more minutes than that. But Dante, he had himself a nice night too. Like I said, he's a great defensive. He's a good defensive. Uh, great, a good defensive player. He can rebound for a guard. He got an offensive rebound over Anthony Davis, or he. I think he drew an offensive. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Hold up. No, I don't think. No, he didn't get an offensive rebound, but he did draw a foul on some on Anthony Davis on an offensive rebound. No, but he didn't get the um the stat for it though. But he got two rebounds, eight points. The turnovers were crazy tonight. How many turnovers did the Warriors? And eighteen turnovers, and they ended up winning this by fourteen, fifteen points. That is uh that's just a great sign though. That's just how great the team is. They can overcome eighteen turnovers and still win by double digits. Like, that's just a great thing. Obviously, the rookie. I, that's weird. The Patrick Baldwin situation is weird. Uh, hopefully, he gets better. Ryan Rollins got some minutes, too. They're going to be in the G League a lot because they're this this team is so stacked. It's a lot of players that's going to play. 11 guys play tonight, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, Ryan and Patrick, they're not going to get a lot of playing time. Even Ty Jerome and Anthony Lamb didn't even get minutes tonight, which is insane. And they're two-way players. So, yeah, that's... um. That's pretty much it for the stats, and Warriors, they dominate. They whoop the Lakers tonight, and they start off the season 1-0. and uh, Best way to start the season, the first game of the season, ring night, got the win. Anthony Davis really thought he was going to uh, ruin the ring night. I don't know why they thought they were going to do that. They knew they were garbage. I don't know why they thought they were going to ruin it. But, oof, yeah, there isn't much more to talk about because this win was pretty much over, like, like, the game was pretty much over in the third. Like, it was 91-64. to 64. Like, come on, man. Come on, Lakers. Like, I, actually, I'm glad they didn't give them much effort because I, I was actually surprised it was a blowout. Like, I thought LeBron and AD were going to come in and give them 80 again like they did opening night. But I guess not. And Warriors just crew sleepwalked. Not crew sleepwalked to a win tonight. And won it on the season, like I said, and... I can't wait to see what else the season brings. I know greatness is coming. I expect the Warriors to win a 2023 NBA championship. Not expect. They are going to win a 2023 NBA championship. And, hey, guys, um, that's it for me in this video. Remember to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos on my channel. And, hey, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.